Hi, this is Kritia from EatSmartHMart.com and I want to review The Biggest Loser Season 8 Episode 3. So, today was all about drama, drama, and more drama. It was insane today. I mean, it all started with the challenge. Basically, one person had the opportunity or one team had the opportunity to cross the line and decide that they wanted to have an extra two pound advantage, but they would have to give up training with Bob and Jillian. Basically, that means that the team would be training on them their own compared to the other team who didn't take that challenge on and would be weighing it with training with Bob and Jillian. Well, Tracy, and I don't know if you remember her, she was the one who was extremely ill after the first challenge. She spent a whole week at the hospital. She came back last week and she did very well. Well, she stepped across the line. She took on that challenge. You should have seen everybody else's face. You should have seen her partner, Coach's Mofe, Coach's Mofe, whoo, a lot of words. He couldn't believe that she took that on just for a two pound advantage. But that's not where the drama starts and that's not where the drama ends. The drama happened when Bob and Jillian came in and said to the team, what was the challenge about? And they declare, well, I hope nobody took it because it made no sense. It makes no sense for you to take this challenge on just for two pounds and not train with us. And when they realized somebody did take it on, they wanted to know who. And when they found out it was Tracy, oh, you should have seen Jillian's face. I thought Jillian was going to jump across the room and attack Tracy because it was like, what are you thinking of? You think you can outdo us? We've been doing this forever. Bob was saying, we've been doing this for seven years. You think you know something we don't know? Jillian was saying, what's wrong with this woman? What is wrong with this woman? Woo! But that doesn't end. That doesn't end there. There was another challenge, and that is where everything just kind of broke loose. The second challenge was the cupcake challenge. So Allison basically offered everyone... Um, all of the uh, remainder participants a cupcake and she said that whomever eats the most cupcake in 10 minutes wins the next challenge and the next challenge means that the person who actually wins will be the person deciding who among teammates will be the person responsible for the total weight loss for the entire team so there were two people who took that bait everybody else you know sort of stood by and said I'm not eating this cupcake but Tracy Yes, she is all about drama. And Antoine ate the cupcakes. Unfortunately, Antoine only ate two, while Tracy picked her face out with four cupcakes at 100 calories each. So she won. She was basically the person who was going to have everyone's faith in her hands. Oh my God. When Jillian found out that she, once again just basically decided to ignore everything the coaches could bring to the table, Jillian was furious. Jillian <laughs> was absolutely furious. But that's not it. That's not it. What happened was that everybody realized that here was Tracy, who was a loose cannon. She was going to pick who am among the two team members was going to weigh in. And the fate of the team, because the team that lost, the entire team went home. So the, the fate of the team was in this woman's hand. And so many people went and begged and pleaded with her. Don't choose me, choose her. Or don't choose her, choose him or whatnot. And guess what? Tracy in good old B-I-C-T-H fashion ignored everybody. And she dared to touch my girl Shay. She dared to touch my girl Shay. She put Shay on that scale. When, when, when Daniel had gone to see her and said, don't put Shay on the scale, Shay needs to be there. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Tracy, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she was honestly evil. And you should have seen the reaction that Jillian had when at the end, or just before the weigh-in, Mo, Mo said, well, I supported my team member, 
and you know we're in this together oh my god Jillian just about lost it said no she didn't was not thinking about you she was thinking about her and she put your spot in this challenge in jeopardy anyways at the end of the, 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 the this whole drama it was two teams two teams were uh, below the, the the yellow line and up for elimination the red team and the orange team orange team with my girl Shay but it was so obvious to everybody that Shay could not go home. So in the end, Sean and Antoine, the red team, went home. And they showed them today. And the two of them, the pair of them, have lost over 100 pounds. And I'm sure that by the time we see them at the end of the season, they'll have lose, lost so much more. Anyways, don't forget to come to EatSmart, EatSmart.com. I have tons more on The Biggest Loser. And I have tons more on healthy eating and adopting a healthy lifestyle. Now I should correct myself and say that at the end of this whole drama and challenge, um, Tracy, evil Tracy, actually surprised everybody and she managed to lose 11 pounds. Now personally, I think she starved herself. That's my own personal opinion. Anyways, for her not to have trained with anybody and have lost almost, um, actually she was the second uh, highest uh, weight loss of the evening was just staggering and nobody was happy about it and the whole time I kept thinking please have you have to have gained weight you have to have gained weight because I really wanted her to be eliminated because she was just so evil but also uh, earlier I made a mistake and I said that Sean and Antoine the red team who was eliminated lost a hundred pounds uh, the pair of them lost a hundred uh, 100 pounds actually each one of them lost 100 pounds. Sean lost 124 pounds, and uh, Antoine had lost 105 pounds, and that, of course, was at this point in time at, uh, you know, um, week three episodes. So God knows how much they've lost up to now. But that's not the best part. I think with all of this drama, and I have to tell you, when the whole group were in that room, when the whole group, sorry, was in that room, and they were trying to figure out who to send home, that whole episode where everybody was crying, I'm telling you, I was myself extremely emotional. I just couldn't handle it. It was like too many, too many emotions. And and, and also the idea was that Shay could not go home. She could not go home. She was not ready to go home. And I'm so happy that everybody saw that. But Antoine going home meant that he actually could act on something that the first person to be eliminated... If you remember, at the end uh, of the first episode, when we saw her, when she had lost all that, you know, she lost 60 pounds and she was healthy and whatnot, and she said, well, you know, I did have a bit of a crush on somebody uh, on uh, the uh, show, but you'll have to wait and see who it is. And actually, when Antoine went home, he contacted Alexandra, and they are both together, and they're in love. So that is absolutely wonderful, and I wanted to make sure that I added that because with all the drama there was a love story at the end of the show so definitely don't forget to come back at uh, eatsmartagesmart.com i've got tons more on the biggest losers and i've got tons more on healthy eating and adopting a healthy lifestyle